Hello, thank you for tuning in. This is a video about how to make your own candle using our Take and Make kit. In your kits, you would have received one to two bags of soy wax. Some kits have one, some two, but together they are about the same amount. You would have gotten a glass jar, some fragrance, a bag with a wick and some dried lavender, And finally, a wick centerer. It's just a piece of paper with a tiny punched hole. First, you'll need a microwave safe bowl. I am using a glass bowl, but yours could be plastic. Just make sure it is microwave safe. And it should be large enough to hold at least a cup of wax. So about two to four cup size bowl. Next, empty your wax into the bowl. Then next, we are going to get all our other supplies ready. So remove your wick from the bag, and then we're gonna start setting up. Place all your supplies by the microwave. If you don't have a microwave, there's also a double boiler method, which you can find by visiting the link in the description. You'll also need a spoon to stir the wax. Heat the wax in 30 second to one minute intervals, depending on your microwave's wattage. The wattage on my microwave is really low, so I did this at one minute intervals, and it took about four times for all the wax to be melted. Also, be careful with the bowl because it will be hot. Stir periodically to help the wax melt. Once your wax is melted, wait until the wax is cooled to slightly above room temperature. This is going to be about 120 degrees. The length of time will depend on the temperature in the room, but set a timer for about five minutes and check in. If you forget and the wax starts to cool down too fast, heat it up in 15 second intervals in, until it is all melted again. Once your wax is about 120 degrees, add in your fragrance and stir. Next, you'll need your jar and your wick. Then you're gonna dangle the bottom portion of the wick into your wax. You just need enough to um, adhere your wick to the bottom of your jar. I'm gonna scoop in a bit of wax just to secure it just a bit more. Once it seems like the wick is secured, we are going to pour in the rest of the, uh, the wax. So I think I poured too much here. So I'm going to scoop out some of the excess. You want to leave about a half an inch off the top of the jar. So I'm just scooping out enough so that there is space at the top.
Next, slide in your wick center. You can do this now or you can do it after the next step, which is to sprinkle in your dried lavender. To give you another angle, here is the side view. You can see here that the wax is about a half an inch off the top of the jar. Sprinkle in your dried lavender. Again, you can do this before or after sliding in that wick center. Leave it to solidify overnight. And then we are going to snip off the excess wick down to about a quarter inch. The last step is to wait about a week before burning your candle. And that's it. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoy.